What's going on guys? Back again with a Sunday sample review. Today will be Sudsy, Sopri, Vetevip, and Vanilla. Now, I got this sample out of the West Coast Shaving Artisan Highlights sample pack. Earthy and slightly sweet, this combo is a cool weather favorite. Price $17.79. I believe that's four or five ounces. I'm not sure, don't tell. Razor, be my favorite at the moment. It was tied with the car of Christopher Bradley. But I just I love the sleekness of this razor. I love it. And that would be the uh, Hawk V3 in stainless steel with a bulldog handle, second use, Captain Mild. All right, brush. Most of you OG subscribers done seen this, but it's the Deadpool. It's my first custom brush on a 28 millimeter. It's like a white synthetic badger. So what we're working with, let's with the face and get with it. The bowl, it's a copper, uh, hand punched bowl I got from Europe on eBay. I like it very much, seven pounds. Reshipping works for me. This soap reminds me of a holy call and this consistency. It just depends on the way you whip up a soap. It may not remind you of them, but it does me, at least the vegan base of Holy Call, and I'm not sure. Pretty sure this is tallow, but I can't prove it, so. Either way, if it is tallow, Holy Call is doing an amazing job with their vegan base. That's what I'm going to go with tonight. With the razor. Let's go. Mood. I think this is two days worth of growth. Very smooth, very slick. I do feel this soap is slept on by a lot of people. And 
and it's cheaper than most. Especially for what you get. Uh, as far as scent goes, you can argue it's a sample. I just don't. I got it right up underneath my nose right now and I can barely smell the vetiver. Bare, barely. Sample or not, if I gave somebody a sample, Barrister and Man, Fougier Gothique, or Seville, they'd say, man, that's a pungent scent. I love that scent. It's, I can smell it, you know what I'm saying? Like, this right here, not so much. But by the way, Fujio Gothique's a lot stronger than Seville. But anyway, I was just an example. Um, it is a nice scent if you like lightly scented soaps. I'm not one of those people. Will I shave with it? Hell yeah. Why? Because the base is great. By the way, thank you for all my subscribers. All my new subscribers. Without you, there would be no me. And I'd just like to say thank you. do it for pass number one, getting a pass number two immediately. Plenty of slickness there. There's no reason you should say there's no uh, residual slickness on this soap. It's slick. Okay. Either way, hope you like that little demonstration there. Gonna go in for the second and final pass. I'll probably be uh, tossing this to somebody. I still have quite a bit of the sample left. I did, however, get a head shave out of it as well. There's still plenty in the sample. I think these are the 10 gram samples that West Coast uses, I'm not sure. But I don't like them five gram shits. They suck. Um, I do have a lot of them. I got 30, 40 left. No, about 30, 36 of them left, something like that. So I will not buy any more five gram samples, containers off eBay because it's just not enough. I mean, you want to test it, you want to test it on your head, your face what have you. I don't know where you be testing shit, but <laughs> either way. Well, five gram tub ain't enough, if you, especially if you like the scent. So like I say, here's what's out of the brush. I mean, I don't have this super, super hydrated, but it's hydrated well enough to shave. And then some, in my opinion, you can just see the creaminess. It's great soap. I just feel they didn't add enough oil. 
You may have the whole soap and say, man, you full of shit. That shit's strong. And some other people might have the, uh, the same sample and say, man, mine's strong. It's your mileage may vary. My strong sense may not be like yours. Vice versa. All right. I know it's versa, but I say versa. Um, money pass. It's a big ass two and a half inch head on this razor. Make short work of it. I don't know, what is that? It's like two inches to me, something like that. Very comfortable blade, Captain Miles. All right. Always used to run these blades in my V2. I wonder, and I just got this pulled up out the way, you know what I'm saying? Fucking hair is curly and shit. I used to have a goatee about down to here, but what I was doing is taking my dumb ass was taking uh same type of rubber bands and I was pulling them up too tight and it was breaking my fucking hair off. I'd leave them in all day, all night, all week. And uh, then my goatee out, uh, made it look stupid and wispy, so I cut the motherfucker off. All right. Yeah, I'm an idiot, I guess. You win some, you lose some, you learn some, you burn some. All right. So that's a lesson on that for me. Jim Cole, I hope you got your package. <coughs> hope you enjoyed it. Um, everybody else, hope, and Jim, I hope you're all happy, healthy, and well. Great shaves. What's your shave of the days? Drop them in the comments below. Join my group. Uh, NC Wetheads. We got about 200 members, a little bit over 200 members. Um, it's on Facebook, check us out. You ain't gotta jump through no hoops, do not sh stupid shit to get in, it ain't none of shit like that, so just might be a few questions, one of us will get back with you. Got about six or eight. Uh, moderators that will get with you I might get with you I don't know but you'll get in as long as you don't answer no stupid shit but that was the shave don't sleep on sudsy soapery and by the way this is what the soap looks like you can tell there's a vanilla in it 
I think they went too heavy on the vanilla, not a not heavy enough on the vinegar. But that's my opinion. It's like my asshole. Everybody's got one. This razor, however, is the goat of stainless, and it'll rock with the Blackland Vector any day of the week.